Okay, we're about ready to get started. Everything is dry. I did put a coat of uh, medium over top of this. I used the uh, satin uh, medium and varnish by Liquitex. So that's what I used and it is totally dry. So I'm about ready to get started. Well, I just had an absolute mess. I just dropped my white paint all over everywhere. I have white paint everywhere. So I'll clean that up and I'm ready to start this. And what I have decided to do is I'm going to put a thin coat of titanium white over the whole thing. You're going to see a lot showing through. And then I'm going to do mostly black and white, I think, and with uh, just hints of uh, maybe raw sienna and uh, olive green. We will see. That's the plan. You can see where areas that I've missed um, putting uh, my uh, medium form because it's bleeding through. And remember I said it's going to uh, smear if it's not covered. I want a lot of these lines to show through. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on the uh, screen or not. The blue is showing through here and there also. see what results I get. I want this to stay wet. I don't want to dry out too fast. solid here and have it more transparent on that side. see my texture coming through. I have to keep that camera so far behind, uh, back of me that you can't really see what's happening, but I'll be showing you a close-up.
love what's happening. And for a minute, I, for, I thought I forgot to put uh, push the on the start button, but it's on. stand back and look at that and look at this and see if there's areas that I need to go over. I'm trying to remember and not to stand in the way of the camera. areas where I want it to be more opaque, areas that I want it to be more transparent. I like these marks that the sprayer made over here on this one side. I think I'm going to leave that for now. don't want this red line down here because that's where your attention will end up going when you first look at it. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for a little while, maybe about an hour, and then I'm going to go into it with marks. And uh, with the, the biggest brush that I can find, I'm going to put big black marks in it and white in it. And then maybe with uh, thinner lines, go into it with uh, uh, maybe raw sienna or an avocado color. So we'll see. That's the plan. I've been looking at this, the more I look at it, the more I like it. And I keep on remembering myself, don't be fearful, just go for it. So even though I love it the way it is, because I think it's very simple and it will look good in at a dark, um, let's say a dark gray wall would be fabulous. But it's just not me yet. So I'm, I am going to continue on with it. It is completely dry. So if I don't like what I'm doing, I can uh, wipe it off. So here we go. What color this is, it is Indian yellow with a lot of white and a lot of black. I need a lot of white. Now, the color I'm getting ready to put on now is just a little bit darker. I think that's just a little bit too light. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit with a darker color. I'm going to stand back and see if I like that before it dries totally. I do, and if I don't like it later, I can always put white over it. So I just want to put it here and there.
Now I'm putting some white over top of that. What this was is uh, Indian yellow with a little bit of black in it and a lot of white, that color. And then this is raw sienna down here over top of that same color down here with a lot of white in it. Then I put some lines into it with the edge of my brayer. Now I'm pushing all of those colors back again. see the lines. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. hint of that color before I put my lines in. If you can notice it on the screen, you probably can. But this area is much cooler than all of this area, which I like. I like that a lot. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to start in with my big line work. That's the plan. Okay. It's still a little wet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some lines with some charcoal and then I'm going to uh, smear it into the wet paint.
quite smearing as much as I want it to, so I'm going to do it thicker. Yeah, that's better. Just drop my charcoal. going to paint some thin line with the with, uh, black paint. need some thin line here and there because I am going to go over it with thick line but I want some dark lines into it and I might put white over top of these lines lines are actually pretty thick. They're thicker than what I thought I was going to do. And I'm just randomly, I'm not thinking about my shapes, I'm just kind of going into it. Stand back and look at those lines. I'm, I can see it in the screen. I'm liking what I see. I have to make a change in this line here. It's stopping almost at the same area that it starts. So I think I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit further. But it's not exactly the same. Okay, I'm liking my lines. Now I'm going to let this dry. I don't know if I like the way this just abruptly stops. I want to take it out. If I take it out here, it's going to be very close to that. So I want to bring it up and then out. Or down. Yeah, that's better. It's not at the same place. Now I do want to do a real thin line as well. I 
this line is a lot thinner than the other. Okay, I'm ready to start pushing some of these lines back. My hair is standing up right there for some reason. Just touching it lightly. I don't know if any of this is making sense to you guys or not. It's making sense to me. Okay. I'm going to put a yellow right there. I don't want yellow. Cover up the yellow. Can you see how this white is leading you through? And I'm looking at it in the... I want it, I want it to bring you over to here. So I need to put some pure white out. My lines are just barely there. You can barely see them. I'm very happy with it. So I am going to call this a day. And on Tuesday when I come in, I'm going to put in real big, big black solid lines with some white lines going over top of it. So that's the plan. And I thank you for watching. I really enjoyed, I'm enjoying this one. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. 
but I am really enjoying this one. So thanks a lot, and I'll see you on Tuesday probably.